Is, uh, on the track and pretty to pose for the 10th race, Ohio Breeders' Championship two-year-old Philly Pace, first division, for $50,081, sponsored by the Columbus Serum Company. These are the horses. Number one, True Blue Blue. Robert Sidley of Painesville, Ohio. Mike Meadows trained. Jamie Dunlap from post one. The one, True Blue Blue. 1A is That's a Party Girl. Robert and Paul Ann Sidley of Painesville, Ohio. Marty Willem trains. Walter Case Jr. drives from post four. The 1A, That's a Party Girl. Number two, TR's Charisma. J.C. Smith, H.H. H. Kaufman, and D.L. Fister of Ohio. Don Fister trained. Brett Miller from post two. The two, TR's Charisma. The three, Scoot and Mercedes. James Glass, Stanford, Kentucky. Danny Collins trained. Dave Hawk from post three. The three, Scoot and Mercedes. The four, Lusty Babe. Just Dennis Yoakum and Tom Shaver of Ohio. Jim Mullen Exchange. Jim Daly from post five. The four, Lusty Babe. Number five is QT, my patootie. G.A. and Marcina Scott, Walter Thompson the second, Delaware, Ohio, Michael Haynes trains, Ron Stack drives from post six, the five, QT, my patootie. Number six is Game Madonna, Elvin Fortney of Bellevue, Ohio, Ed Fortney trains, Kenny Fortney drives from post seven, the six, Game Madonna. Number seven is Corner Stan. Westgate Motors Incorporated, Columbus, Ohio. Scott Mogan train. Chip Noble from post eight. The seven, Corner Stan. Number eight is Cinco de Mayo. Sam McGiano of Monroe, Michigan. Is also the trainer. Doug Rideout drives from post nine. The eight, Cinco de Mayo. Win, play, show. Perfecta, trifecta, superfecta wagering on the 10th. They'll go to the post in six. Don't be shut out. Wager now. Two-year-old Philly Pacers are on behind the gate. The gate swings into the stretch and here they come. Up and pacing that true blue blue going right out for the lead. That's a party girl up on the outside as they race into the turn. Sentco de Mayo gets away third as they race to the back side on the outside corner stand. Racing fourth on the inside. 50 yards charisma racing says Scoot Mercedes. Down the back side they go. Lusty Babe racing seven. Eighth is QT My Patootie and treading the field. Game Madonna. Opening panel to Speedy, 27-2. End of the turn and going to the 3 8 mark. That's a party girl with the lead. Hung on the outside corner stand, racing second. True Blue Lou pacing third. End of the stretch first time. TR's Charisma follows the cover on the outside fourth as the race over to the halfway point. Moving up on the outside, Scootin' Mercedes off stride. At the half, TR's Charisma, half in 56 and 3, 29 and 1, second quarter. On to the back side they go. That's a party girl with the lead. True Blue Lou racing second. Three wide, Scootin' Mercedes and Dave Hawk. Now second and going after the leader. Down the back side they go. Scootin' Mercedes on the outside. Looked her in the eye and went right on by. That's a party girl. Here comes True Blue Lou on the move. Three quarters, 126. Backside, 29 and 2. Hawk has got away now by five lengths now with Scoot and Mercedes racing on the outside. True Blue Lou racing second. Off stride. That's a party girl closing on the outside. Sitco de Mayo. Down the stretch they come. It's all Scoot and Mercedes and Dave Hawk throwing away with every stride by seven and a half. One, 56 and four. Into the winner's circle, number three, Scootin' Mercedes. James B. Glass of Stanford, Kentucky, Danny Collins trains. Dave Hawk winning his driver this week here at Delaware, getting his fourth win of the week.
Scoot Mercedes, the two-year-old Philly Bay expensive scooter at a Mercedes Lomont, taking a lifetime mark, 156 for Fifth Fifth win in seven this season for Scootin' Mercedes with the Hawkster. And I think Scootin' Mercedes uh, might be a little tough to handle, Dave. We saw four people get to her before the winner's <laughs> circle and immediately remove the race bike before the uh, blanket presentation. Obviously kind of a high-strung filly, but a filly with a big engine. And uh, she is the winner here. Results have been posted official for this 10th race. Of course, Dave, there's always a story, and for the Scoot and Mercedes story, let's go to the winner's circle and check in with Ellie. Thanks, Sam. Well, joining me is the winning owner, Jim Glass. Congratulations. And also the winning trainer, Danny Collins, and congratulations to you. I noticed that there were like four people running over to this filly to take the race bike off. Can you tell me what happened? Uh, she, uh, when we hooked up the race bike, she'll kick and kick uh, to mean it, so... Uh, we try to take the bike on as little as possible, and as soon as she's done racing, we take it off with her moving. If she stops, that's when we're in a lot of trouble. She looks like she's a pretty tough girl, which will get me to my other question. Post eight, a hundred thousand dollar race interfered with, parked the whole mile, and I noticed she had a 15 day layoff. Was that the reason why? Well, the, she wasn't uh, well going into the race. She was uh, a little congested, and uh, we tried to roll her, tried to see, you know, what we could do anyway out of the eight hole. Got in a big jam, and they parked us the whole mile. And Dave did a great thing by just putting her away at the half, didn't chase her, didn't beat her up. We brought her back home, and she was still pretty congested uh, in the nasal passage. So we uh, gave her a little time, scoped her last Saturday. She was clean as a whistle, trained her good out here Wednesday, and was felt very good coming into the race. Well, she certainly proved that today. Fastest mile of the day, a lifetime best for her, 156 and four. How many horses do you own, Mr. Glass? Oh, I'm connected with a lot of horses, and but Danny trains four for me. Three of them have been sensational for us this year, and he's just done a wonderful job for us. Does this happen to be your favorite filly? Well, today she's definitely <laughs> my favorite filly. <laughs> now, she looks like a handful, and Danny yeah. did confirm that. Uh, do you get to go to the barn and pet her? Is she okay in the barn? She's always okay in the barn as long as she wins. <laughs> so she's a temperamental lady. Well, congratulations, gentlemen. Back to you guys. So it is Scootin' Mercedes, Dave Hawk, and trainer Danny Collins with an impressive victory here in the Ohio Breeders' Championship. And Scootin' Mercedes has made her way to the uh, back paddock area where she'll be heading for the spit box shortly. Well, Dave, we're 10 minutes away from race 11.